was a great honor. I'm very honored to be to be here. And it's, uh, I, I started writing music for films in Ireland. I did probably the first uh, two or three things here and recorded them here. So it's a great pleasure to come back and bring some more, more, more recent music. I think festivals are the perfect place to see what's new and also revisit some uh, some old things. It's uh, it's a great place for people to meet and uh, and uh, see people that work in the industry all the time uh, close up. The very first piece of music that I ever wrote for a movie uh, it was written for a film called Elsa, uh, and uh, and we're doing it tonight. And uh, so I'm really looking forward to hear it. It'll be the first time. It gets played live ever. Well, yeah, you know, I, grew, I started in documentary film. So uh, what's different about a documentary is you don't know what you're doing as you go. You know, you have a camera, you can shoot on the camera your colleague here is using a whole movie. And um, you, you, you follow a subject and then you put it together in the editing room. So on my first film, I was 22 years old. I spent 4,000 hours in an editing room alone trying to piece together a story. Um, with, a, with a fiction film, you know, you gotta write it. You gotta write it and figure out what happens because every day costs you a couple hundred thousand bucks to film. Uh, and so you don't have the luxury of figuring it out later. So you really have to work uh, in advance to plot it out. And, and that's why on Arbitrage we did a, a one month rehearsal, which is pretty uncommon for independent films, but Richard was down for the mission. Um, the other actors were down, so we'd meet up at my apartment, we'd go through the script piece by piece and rewrite it and change it, tailor it to everybody. So once we hit the set, we were super prepared. My mom got me a video camera when I was eight years old. So I was like making sword fighting movies with my friends and stuff, I was always into movies. But I didn't know I wanted to be a director until I was a teenager. Um, two things happened. First, I got this great book from my dad called Making Movies, written by the great director Sidney Lumet. At the same time, I was a computer geek when I was young, so I got hired to be the technical advisor on a movie called Hackers with Angelina Jolie. And my job was to hang out with the director and the actors, teach them about computer hacking, what I knew. And so, as a 16-year-old hanging out with a 19-year-old Angelina, um, you know, uh, what I noticed most uh, pr primarily was that she seemed to really respect this man called the director. And I thought, you know, if I ever had a hope of capturing her interest, that's the type of job I'd have to have. So the film's called Broken Song and it's about um, some rappers and uh, soul singer Willa Lee who are based in Ballymun and Finglas. And um, it's just sort of about how they, it's like a kind of a portrait of, of the guys and the work, they, their, their artwork and also how they link into the local community and work with younger kids trying to kind of get them involved in um, writing songs and making music rather than kind of, you know, going down maybe a path that you know they shouldn't. The, the point of the Real Arts Scheme as well is to fund films that mightn't necessarily be funded by, you know, maybe RTE or the the film board so um, this is the showcase then you know this is was part of the award that it would get screened at the, the Dublin Film Festival so for us you know it, it, it's fantastic that it gets to such a wide audience. <laughs> Lens, 3D lends itself to the imagination first. Sure. So I think artists and directors who have an imagination will find the form of 3D a, a, a fantastic tool to work with. Um, in the, the, the other 3D conversation, which is the Hollywood blockbuster in your face conversation, is, a, is, is almost like a separate conversation. There's a financial goal and there's a financial end game for a lot of the blockbuster 3D films. So there's different kinds of risks and different kinds of conversations that are going on. Certainly as a tool within the box for a filmmaker, especially as I say an imaginative filmmaker, um, fearless filmmakers, it's an incredible tool and I strongly strongly suggest to anyone who's interested just starts making 3D. For me this is a very important film festival um, because e the people I speak to in America and my producers in Hollywood, um, I'm in New York, 
all the people I'm speaking to are saying, oh yes, okay, what's happening at the Irish Film Festival? Because there are American films that are showing here. This year, in particular, the, 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 the ambassador welcomed the partnerships between America and Ireland. It's less about Ireland and more about this is a great festival to show it.